Hello my fellow miner. Today we will be testing LOL Miner version 1.36a because 1.36 does not work. We will be comparing results from uh, LOL Miner to NB Miner version 39.7, G Miner version 2.71, which are the same as G Miner version 2.72, and T Rex version 0 0.246, which is the same result as T Rex version 24.7. Lots of rushed miners lately, with bugs, lots of lovely bugs. If you're going to skip ahead in the video, then remember to watch the ending of the video, as there's a lot of important info in this one that I'm sure you don't want to miss out on. We will be testing the RTX 3060, the RTX 3060 Ti, military grade, RTX 3070, RTX 3070 Ti, DIY edition. RTX 3080 Ti. The RTX 3080 is still absent and that is due to the pricing. It's the exact same as an RTX 3080 Ti. Then I'd rather buy an RTX 3080 Ti to be honest. But uh, I'm holding on until they drop the price a bit. Now let's start with the RTX 3060. I locked the core clock to 1550 as shown in the notepad in the lower left corner. I set the memory clock to 1300. What is amazing here is that I have a hash rate above 0.0, .0 which I had in 1.36 throughout. Very frustrating to be honest. Usually we would look at current power and the jumps etc. But in this case here, keep an eye on the pool hash rate compared to the reported hash rate. It is very interesting actually and uh, has cost me a lot of hours. Now let's have a look at the average power consumption. It's 106 watts, uh, with the current jumping around 10 watts, which is okay. The temperature is nice and low, even though my uh, room is quite hot here. Now let's have a look at the average result. 35.9 megahash per second at 106 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.339. That is an okay result. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti. Keep an eye on the pull hash rate compared to the reported hash rate. Now I locked the core clock to 1350 using NVIDIA SMI as seen in the lower left corner notepad. I set the memory clock to 1050. If we take a look at hardware info 64 which is in the lower right corner we can see the average power consumption is 125 and a half watts while the current is jumping around 10 watts. As I said in the beginning of the video, version 1.36 didn't work for me. Uh, I could get it running a little bit and then it would just zero out everything. Um, they have even removed it from GitHub, so if you want an original copy of it, I can send it. Now let's have a look at the average result. 43.1 megahash per second at 126 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.342. That seems a little bit low, but since uh, Lot Miner is the only one that doesn't inflate their uh, hash rate, well, at least that is what you think, then it looks quite good, right? Wrong. This is actually very bad, and they do inflate their numbers, but definitely not on purpose. I'll cover that in the next video, which will be released in a couple of days. So remember to subscribe. Tight schedule, so let's move on to the RTX 3070. I locked the core clock to 1035 using NVIDIA SMI, which can be seen in the lower left corner. I set the memory clock to 1300. If we look over in the lower right corner, we can see hardware info 64 and the average power consumption there is 110 watts. The current is around 107 to 117, jumping around uh, 10 watts. If we look at the pull side hash rate, it is way above the reported hash rate, which is very nice. But is it also true? According to my flex pull, no, it is not true at all. But uh, I'll cover that in the conclusion of this video. Please remember to use locked core clock when running any miners. Now let's have a look at the average result. 44.8 megahash per second at 110 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.407. The RTX 3070 is always a joy to test. Now it's time to have a look at the RTX 3070 Ti, which is always the least efficient card of them all. But is that also the case this time? Dun dun dun. Yes, of course it's also the case this time. Anyway, I locked the core clock at 930 and set the memory clock to 1150. Everything is running nice and smooth. Looking at the average power consumption, it's at 182.5 watts, uh, while the current is uh, around 
176 to 191, I think. Ah, it's going insanely fast. If this is the first time you watch one of my videos, then you may want to check out my channel as I have a lot more. Many tests. Lot miner doesn't report memory temperature on the TI card, so if you need that, then get hardware info. Now let's have a look at the average result. 56.2 megahash per second at 183 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.307. That is a new record actually for the RTX 3070 Ti in lowest efficiency I have ever seen. We have clapped before, uh, but I think definitely this time it deserves a clap again. Clap for the RTX 3070 Ti. Now let's quickly move on from that very embarrassing and shameful performance from the RTX 3070 Ti to the RTX 3080 Ti, which is the most efficient graphic card when it comes to mega hash per cable. Definitely my favorite. I locked the core clock at 1545 and set the memory clock to 1300. If you have watched any of my previous tests on the NB miner or G miner etc, they are all running at 1500 core clock. However, when I did the same here, I actually got a bit lower score than I expected, so I opted to 1545 and that gained 2 mega hash per second more. And no, that stunt doesn't work on any of the other miners. Looking at hardware info 64, we can see the average power consumption is 265, almost 66 watts, while the current is jumping around 10 watts, which is completely fine. Now let's have a look at the average result. 83.8 MHz per second at 266 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.315. Overall not an impressive result to be honest, but let's compare it to the others. If we look at the RTX 3060, um, it's actually not that bad if we compare it to the others, but um, G Miner and T Rex are still ahead. Let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti. Again, not that much different from the RTX 3060. Um, we see that uh, it's very close to the others, yet G Miner and T Rex are ahead again. Now it's time to have a look at the RTX 3070. There again the picture is the same, all the others are better choices. Maybe that would change if we have a look at the RTX 3070 Ti. More of the same, uh, Lot Miner gets beaten pretty bad throughout. Now let's have a look at the final one and then go to the conclusion. The RTX 3080 Ti. That is an absolute massacre throughout and the RTX 3080 Ti is uh, performing really bad in Lot Miner or let me say that Lot Miner is performing really bad with the RTX 3080 Ti. Now before you, you write in the comments that oh but the others inflate and so forth then uh, I have news for you. LOLMINER does the same with the new version. So the version 1.36a is inflating the numbers pretty bad. I'm pretty sure that is not on purpose though. And I actually don't expect you to take my word for it. So let's have a look at the data. Throughout here we see that it is off compared to the poll. And you say that okay but this is just one result right? Yeah but According to FlexPool, it is not just a one-off result, it's throughout. Looking at the 6-hour average, we can see that it is at 317.2, uh, while 342.7 is being reported. I ran the miner for over 8 hours. Now, why would I do that? Why would I ever run LOLT miner on Windows? Normally I wouldn't, I would actually only use it in HiveOS, and funny enough, I cannot get the latest version to work properly in Hive OS either, so I've rolled back to 1.34. It simply won't recognize my uh, RTX 3060 V1s, not all of them at the same time. Uh, most is 3 out of 4, and the last fourth one will just stay at Auto LHR Unlock and never actually be unlocked. Anyway, the reason is this. I call it true hash rate and that is the next video I'm doing that will be released in a couple of days where I compare the true hash rate between LOT minor, NB minor, G minor and T Rex. Now I did expect a lot better from LOT minor because everyone says that they don't inflate. But when it comes to LHR Unlock, the story is very different. Now, subscribe to my channel to actually watch that video. It will be released very soon. Or 
If you're watching it in the future, then it has been released and check my channel for more. As you can see, according to my test, Lotminer is all reporting 3.23%, which is actually quite a lot and what everyone is saying that NBminer is doing in non-LHR mode. But this is LHR mode and the story is very different here. You can also see the test ran for 11 hours and 22 minutes and 37 seconds. At least that is where I took this screenshot from. I can guarantee you that the video is going to be very interesting. And that is all for this time. I hope to see you in the next one where we will actually have a look at the true hash rate of the different miners in LHR mode.